Here are Hogan's Heroes to show you why life at Stalag 13 is a blast. Where else do the prisoners take pot shots at people? Hey, watch where you're shooting! Where else is the Commandant the Fall Guy? And where else could you find Sergeant Schultz? It's no wonder the prisoners get into all kinds of mischief. Judy from Mainline Public Television and Radnor Studio 21. And I'm here at Dunwoody Estates today with Frank Burke. Frank Burke was a waste gunner in a B-17 bomber when he was shot down. He became a prisoner of war and he was a resident of Stalag 17. Uh, thank you very much for coming on today right. and meeting with us and talking to us about your experiences in World War II. Frank, did, did, were you drafted or no, did you I, enlist? I enlisted. I was classified for bombardier training, but they, uh, the year uh, Eighth Air Force was engaged by this time, flying over Germany. They didn't need a, a bombardier, but they need gunners. So then I went to gunnery school and joined a crew on a B-17, and we were waste gunners. Had a 50 caliber. A machine gun handheld. The tail was a turret, and the engineer had a turret, and the bombardier navigators they had handheld machine guns. And we all went overseas, got to a, a bomb group, 94th Bomb Group, over in England, and we started flying missions. They came in one morning, shook me, left waist gonna bark, yeah. You're flying today. And that was the first successful daylight bombing mission of Berlin. And of course, it continued and continued. April 8th, 1944, we went in on the target. They had a German 88, was a crack anti-aircraft gunner. And it was a deadly uh, uh, artillery piece on the ground. It was a dual weapon. And uh, we got hit going in. Uh, one engine was uh, knocked out. I was hit in the left knee. And the pilot screamed to us, get out and get out in a hurry. The parachute was next to me. We, I snapped it on kicked the door out and I tumbled out afterward. When I parachuted out, a Fock Wolf a fighter plane came back and forth in my area and I could see his face and he was looking over at me. And uh, I think he was probably uh, signaling, you know, to whereabouts I would probably be coming down, you know. When they rounded eight of us up, the pilot and co-pilot never uh, got out of that plane that blew up. Then they sent us to a main interrogation center. And then from there, I was spent five days on a boxcar going to uh, Stalag 17 outside of Krems, Austria. And there were 4,300 uh, enlisted men to, in that camp. Starlog 17, the movie and everything, and the play on Broadway was written by two guys in Starlog 17. It became a Broadway play and then a picture with uh, William Holden, and he won the Academy Award for it. Morale was perfect. They did a lot. They, uh, Red Cross sent instruments there was enough of 4,300. You had enough good professional band per performers. Uh, they would put on little plays. I know I was still uh, had trouble with my leg and uh, I, when I first came in there. And I watched them and they put on a little play 
and they had like uh, guys dressed up as girls and they were all hooping and clapping and everything. I said, what the hell's the matter with these guys? <laughs> but they were, the morale was tops. Why not drop in on Stallard 13? You'll meet the greatest bunch of screwballs in the world. <laughs> we were on a forced march towards the end of the war. We walked by Morthausen, which was a German concentration camp in Austria. And coming along the road, the guards that were marching with us said, you see these people coming up, they're, Germ they're Jews. And they were in all like pajamas striped. Some of them didn't even have shoes on them. And he said, don't go looking over at them or anything else. The, the SS has them, and they'll take you and throw you right in with them. And uh, I was on the outside flank, and two men were dragging one of these unfortunates along, and his knees were scraping on the ground. Uh, he, as they, I approached. And he looked up at them and said, ah, drop, ah. and they dropped them, right? As I approached him, a German guard pulled the pistol out, shot him right at my feet. Hmm. That was the worst thing that ever happened to me in a war. And the tears were coming down my face because I was so frustrated to see this happen. Mm. And there were other bodies along that road. But that town that we were going through, Morthausen, was a uh, quarry, and they worked those poor people in there till they couldn't work, and they eliminated them. Right. It was a rotten, uh, that was the worst thing that happened to me. Mm. Really? gave you a good estimate of what's important and what isn't important.